it is january 1st i look crazy oh my god <laughs> this year it's it's different for me you know it's not the same like as no 2024 it's about to be different than every other year that i've lived before and i'm just ready to welcome it all another vlog so this is the first vlog of 2024 period new year new me <laughs> no but for real new year new me and i know usually when people say that people be taking it as a joke and they don't be standing on business but i promise you i'm standing on business this year i'm getting ready because when i'm a friends i actually met her on the internet and she's just been like really supportive her name is hoania she has a youtube too but yeah she's coming to kingston because she lives in mobe tell a vlog hi tell a vlog hi vlog hi <laughs> it's currently january 2nd and i told myself i'm gonna be consistent with my content this week so even if my album make like a weekly vlog every week even though i feel like y'all don't like my vlogs once i sit down and talk on the eat it up but anything on me i vlog the views are low what's going on what's tea is it that when i just want to sit down and talk 24 7 cut to me sometimes i feel like i'm boring but clearly that's the content that y'all like so let me know but am i the only person that's excited for the new year me for urban talk become a lighter dead i've been filming content mostly tiktok and i was like you know let me just start a youtube video because we're trying to be consistent so i ran in remember put on my phone come on me looking at my phone rang in the new year basically inside reading my bible so my bible right is so said i'm on bed yeah the girl is reading her bible but you know i rang in the new year praising and i'm not even gonna be like i was praising all day because like i procrastinated most of the day new year's eve i was inside I'm never gone away but when my sister the clock so strike 12 i was like no 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 when me enter 2024, God need to sit on side of me. Me need to feel the presence of the Lord. So immediately I turned on my gospel. Me I sing out. I was cooking. Come on, make like a um chicken tenders, you know, cause girl was hungry. And I'm singing. And child, I'm telling you, it was probably like 10 minutes to 12, and I'm there praising the whole time. And as soon as 12 o'clock hit. Like I looked at my phone, I'm the ear the fireworks, tears, crying, bawling, throwing up. And usually I'm not like I know my emotional, my bali bali, but I don't cry on New Year's Day. Cause when me have alpha, it's literally the next day. You know what I'm saying? Like it's me a bawling the people. And I'm trying to figure out why I'm crying and I'm texting my friend and she's like, girl, let it all out, you know, like it's really just like a sense of relief, you know, because you really just know, say, this is your year, like, gotta go working in your life that year, year. And she's like, girl, let it out, you know, like, and I'm crying and I just feel God's presence present over me. It was the craziest thing ever. Like, I was standing up in my kitchen. Child, I got weak in my knees. I had to come in here and as we touch my bed and the gospel still out play the tears got even worse like i am crying me not talk like tears just around you know like me a ball like bugo snap type of crying like i'm crying <laughs> i'm like i just found myself saying i know i know i know because god started talking to me and god is just saying girl this is your year like i got you you know me for worrying no more like it's your time to shine like you're stepping into you know it's your harvest season it's time to harvest last year me never prepare your girl like me never bring it this far for leap god is talking to me you know i heard god's voice so clear and in the moment i'm just saying i know i know i know like me not even realize say i gotta talk to me i'm just gonna say i know <laughs> But that was the most 
beautiful new year's ever i don't think i've ever spent my new year's just like sitting down by myself in the presence of god and i wouldn't have it any other way yeah the not lonely me never have no little pookie you know you know no little bookie but text me and say happy new year babe or you know me never have no like a 11 59 kiss but that's okay you know when it come at least you know that it's gonna be here to stay like I don't know. Y'all think 2024 is the year that I'm gonna find a husband? Let me know. We don't even know. But that's not even the focus. The focus is whatever God wants for me. You know, running up the bag, making money. Like, I am locked in with everything this year. I have so much faith. I have so much more confidence with just everything that I'm doing. I'm just trying to conquer everything, conquer every space, blossom on everything. You know, and 2024 is the year my light is about to die. Jano, I'm open the can still see me coming and continue to talk. But 2024 is just the year where I decide that I'm gonna stop being lukewarm. You know, I decided that I'm gonna get baptized this year because I just fully want to devote my life to like living for God. Because, like, why not? When I think about it, God has done so much for me. Why would I? Why am I kind of wanting there? You know, like it's not, if anything, it's just gonna make my life even better, you know? And, uh, but that's a stir for another day. But yeah, I have uh, see the light there, there. I'm sorry, I hope y'all can still see me. Let me turn up this light. My opener oh, looks scary like this, channel. But yeah, um, yeah it's really just a thing where i'm gonna fully live as the woman that i want to be in 2024 and it, it's hard and let me tell you why it's hard it's hard because everybody has this old version of who you are in their head and it's like every time when you're trying to be this new person they're just holding you to the person that you used to be and it's just like can i live like, can I, can I be who I am? Like, can I be the renewed Britney Simone? Like, let me live. Give me, give me a break, you know? And I'm just tell myself, I'm not care about that no more. Like, I am showing up as the new and renewed Britney. That's just who I am, you know? Fully living in my truth and just being the person that I want to be. The person that God made me to be. Because I'm realizing who I was before, it wasn't me. That was me living for the world. That was me having, um, you know, just, I don't want to say that, but that was me living for the world. It was me living for the world. That was not who I was, you know? And I think the person that I am now is the person that I've always wanted to be, but I was just scared because it's so different from everybody else, you know? And you know that when you decide to live this way you lose so many people because you know like you're not cool to people anymore you're boring you're not fun you know like nobody can come to you and chat other people or no you, nobody can come to you and gonna party or drunk off again because you know like that's just not who i am anymore and uh, it's just crazy you know but i like it here I'm at peace actually and it's so crazy that the whole December I didn't go to any parties or anything and usually I would be the same person more outside more go yes so but I was quite content with being in my bed reading my Bible every night and going to sleep like I'm actually at peace you know when I have nobody has stressed me out I'm not I'm just at peace I'm not in any drama like life is just peaceful over here i think a lot of people confuse living for god as like being bored but you're really at peace like when you decide to live this way you're at peace you know but yeah um what else i've been looking for a church to go to in kingston i think i found one and i keep seeing it keep hearing about it and then somebody that i follow on instagram randomly messaged me and she was like hey girl god told me 
you know to message you i've been feeling it and i'm just being obedient and me you know where it feel like when god you have to be obedient to god so she messaged me and she was like um i don't know if you have a church community yet but this is the one that i go to and i want to invite you blah 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 and i was like oh my god this is literally the one that i've been looking at and it was just confirmation say i asked a month ago so that's where i'm gonna be going and i'm super excited because you know i just want to get into that routine of going into the house of the lord every sunday instead of sitting in my bed like a big bulla you know like i don't know i personally i love church like i understand when a lot of people be like you know church people are the most hypocritical and whatever and i feel like everybody's hypocritical you know and i can understand why people would have a problem with like church people being hypocritical because you know they can be very judgmental sometimes but i realize that people that are actually living for god are not judgmental and not because somebody's in the house of the lord means that they are a christian because you being judgmental you're not following god's word so them people eh i don't know who they live for but you're not following god's word you know so for me i just see it as a, th a thing where um I'm going into the house of the Lord to praise God and I don't care about anybody else. I don't care what nobody think about me, what nobody have to say. Me not focus on that. I'm focusing on my personal relationship with God and nobody can take that away from me. So I'm not going to make because of people being judgmental or whatever why I don't go to the house of the Lord. You get what I'm saying? Because I used to be like that where I had that mindset. But I was like, girl, you care too much about people like the only thing that matter is you and god nobody else on this earth matters except for you and your relationship with god nothing else like nothing can change that nothing can come between it yeah but yeah um jano may I talk for long this is gonna be a weekly vlog i mean i know guys i will see by the way, the braids are not out. Right now, I just have on a wig because I was making content. I'm going to take it off, but because I have like wig videos to like do and stuff, it's just hard to like find a hairstyle that I can. Because right now, I want a sewing, but I have wig videos to do. You know, your girl is in her bag and stuff. So, yeah. My braces, the wire is like sticking me in my mouth. But yeah, um, what's I know? Guys, it's literally 12.30 a.m. at night, which is very bizarre. Like, when I'm gonna go my bed, when I'm in our full face and makeup. Oh, today, not today, but um, yesterday, basically today, this is why I'm all dressed up. I went to a vision board party, and it was so nice. It was really fun and cool love date 10 out of 10 would recommend to a friend so far so good i'm not gonna lie i feel very i don't want to say i feel lonely but it's like i feel like this is probably the most alone i've been in my life you know i'm not lonely but this is the most alone i've been in my life where i'm not even i'm not involved with like any male counterpart whatsoever you know no texting no nothing like zero and the friend count is just not as high as it used to you know so like most days i really just like go through the day speaking to nobody except my mommy and amira and i have like you know friends that will text me from time to time and since i developed like a relationship with my you know family and stuff they've been calling me and whatever so i don't even want to say that i'm lonely but i'm just guessing people that i used to well i'm gonna keep on i say people like he's like one bag of people 
it's just life is just different basically you know and i don't know it kind of it's different but i know that i'll get used to it like every time i think about life i'm just like a lot of things that used to matter like a year ago doesn't matter now so the things that i'm worried about right now is not gonna matter a year from now so what's the problem you know what i'm saying but yeah that's enough talking we are gonna my friend amira is on facetime in the box if you're gonna look a real close that's amira today well today is thursday the 4th of january and i just got some packages and i was like let's just do an unboxing why am i never put on proper clothes i have a tan from when i went to the beach the other day but ignore that i don't know where these are from but we're gonna see so the first one is from amazon so these are some light bulbs that i got because i was like the lighting in my apartment is so poor everywhere the lighting in my room is poor well the light bulb that i have so i was like you know we're gonna get some light bulbs from amazon so hopefully these are bright based on the comments that i saw like the reviews they did say that they were bright so hopefully and then they then they kind of cheap so i got like four different light bulbs let's hope them bright because like if not such a waste well not a waste it was literally eight dollars but still i think this is a this is a week to review i think this is the one from beauty forever hair i think i don't know we'll see if it is i'm gonna film this video today yeah this is from beauty forever hair time for the big box okay so i think this is a lamp that i got because i wanted like a cute lamp for the little tape around this stuff so i got this lamp <sighs> so many of my things are missing i'm so confused these things were ordered so long ago and what is this nowhere to be found don't piss me off so this is a um this is a duvet filler filling filler whatever so i'm gonna get some duvet stuff so i can just have like better bedding for my bed you know so because right now i just have like regular sheets but i want more something more fancy so i got duvet filling then this is the lamp it looks very much smaller in person i think this is gonna look so cute it's like a um a linen type of vibe it's pretty cute not disappointed so much paper paper Bumba, the light not come with no bulb. No come with no bulb, so me I forgot to put it on my bulb then. Suppose, or I did it. Hold on. Probably I'm the stupid one. This is probably the bulb. Cause I said, I forgot to use it on my bulb when I just buy, but it did come with a bulb. Okay, Amazon. Yo, you, you're smart. So I'm gonna screw the bulb in. Then I'm innocent. I'm going to put this on first, don't it? Or so? Yeah, so you put this on first and then you screw the bulb in. It's very shaky, shaky though. It's not stable. But I think I'm doing something wrong. I think this is so nice and cute. What do you think? <laughs> 
I'm such an adult. Like, why am I such a big person? And then some of you are excited now. Like, I don't like it. I think it's very cute. Ignore how I look. I know I look a little bit crazy, but whatever. But yeah, that's it for my unboxing. I think I'm gonna cook later. I want to make some steak fried rice. I've never made it before, but I got steak in the supermarket the other day when my mommy brought me to the supermarket. And I have rice and I have the stuff to make fried rice. Like I have my um my sesame oil, my oyster sauce, my what you call it, soy sauce. You know, I have the stuff. So probably I can, you know, make I make some steak egg fried rice. Never had it before. But I be coming up with recipes because you know as a cook you really just come up with things that's unique to you. I'm not saying that steak egg fried rice is not a thing. But I'm not going based off of any recipe. I'm going to make my own. Same thing with my curry goat pasta. Like I can't believe I came up with a recipe that's mine that people love. When you can believe that like that's really my recipe out of my head. And I know it by heart now. And everybody loves my curry goat pasta. I can't wait to start with Breeze Oven. But yeah. By the way guys. I resell all my wigs. So if you ever like watch any of my wig videos. And you see a wig where you like. And you don't want to order it. And go through the process of like paying customs. And all of that. Link me. Like I resell all of them. Because I'm not really a wig girly. Like Una know that. So. If you see me post a wig and you like it and you want to buy it from me, hit me up, let me know. I mostly sell them ranging from 20 grand to 30k, not more than that. And to me, I feel like that's a bargain because you don't have to worry about customs. You're getting it way more cheaper than it was on the website. So, you know, so anyway, what you see? Like if you go back on any of my videos and you like any other wig them, Hit me up, let me know, and I got you. Hey y'all, how you doing? So it's time to make this steak fried rice. And listen, I know people usually season steak with salt and pepper only, but I'm not that girl. So this is my steak, well seasoned. These are like some really thin slices so I don't think it's gonna take long to cook and I think this is like the best type of steak for what I'm trying to go for so I have my butter I have my garlic and I have my thyme just to add additional flavor to the steak it's currently um 540 oh my god my nail just broke it's currently 540 it's so dark outside for 540 but um by the way youtube i'm not naked i'm wearing clothes you want to know what i used to season my steak i use salt pepper the usual that's what you know people be using but then i added garlic powder i added smoked paprika and then i think i added adobo seasoning just a little bit but yeah, this is what it's looking like. And I like, I want it to be seasoned because I'm going to be using it in fried rice. And I feel like bland steak and rice, it's not going to taste good. So I needed additional seasoning, which is why I added them. So my pan is heating up to cook the steak. So I'm going to get my butter. Hold on. So for butter today, we're using, this is like my cooking butter. So if you know, if you're Jamaican, you would know chiffon butter. <laughs> I don't even know if this is the right butter to use, but it's my cooking butter. So that's what we're using today. So as you can see, I added my butter and I added some garlic and I added my fresh thyme to the pot. And I just want all the flavor to get into this. Guys, why my steak looks like this white full of food? You know me at the screen? If 
first of all, I don't even know if this cook or if this not cook, but it looks very much cooked to me. I feel like if I did leave it for any longer, it would have burned up. So we're gonna cut it. Okay, so far it's easy. It's easy to cut, like it's not, it's not hard. Okay, tender. <laughs> This is so funny, like, be for real. Okay, we need to taste it before we continue. It's so good. Anyways, we're gonna get to making the fried rice. So the only thing is that my rice is not overnight rice because I decided that I'm gonna cook this today. So I made the rice earlier, but I feel like it will still work. So this is the fried rice and it's looking so good. So this is the lamp at night and you can't tell me this is not the cutest lamp you've ever seen. Like let's be for real. And I love the fact that it has this little thing that I can charge my phone because like as you can see the cord it's very short and I always had to like put it behind my bed and I would have to be struggling to use my phone. So this this lamp right here it's perfect and i have my little candle by the way my cousin has a candle business in jamaica and i'm telling you like it's top tier candle like bath and body works type of quality they smell so good so this is it she gave me this one for christmas it's called christmas morning and the brand is called illumisense you can find them in Pri not price you can find them in fontana actually like her candle brand is in Fontana. So if you ever go in Fontana and you see this brand, I think we should support our local brands, you know, because we be spending so much money on Bath and Body Works and all type of candle when you can support local and they smell good. I'm gonna have to do my Bible study. So I'll probably show you guys when I'm doing my Bible study. Hey y'all, how you doing? Talk. Sure, tell me something that look good. I did the wig install as you can see and I ate that like Miniam and the face Let's be honest Let me know hold on you're telling me that face meat never eats You're telling me said this is not the love of your life like look at me Y'all, my little lamp in the back is so cute. I just love how my room is coming together. Like, getting small pieces can really improve your space. I think I want to get a mirror around there. Like a standing mirror or like a plant. Let me know if I should get a standing mirror or a plant. I don't feel like a mirror would be fitting in the back of my room. That doesn't really make no sense, right? But when I know where else it would have go. Probably like a little plant. For our little, you know, or not plant, but like the little pampas, ch flowers, tree, and that's it name, that's some of them. Yeah, I'll probably get one of that. Mm. But yeah, the, the lamp, it did something, like, it's tea. But I'm feeling myself, so I did a makeup video, which I'm going to post both on Instagram and on TikTok. Then I did the wig video then i'm here making some additional tiktok because you know when you look cute you have a batch make content so i'm just gonna scroll through tiktok and see if i find anything that i like and then we gonna make them but i feel so cute i don't know why i have you guys like this when i literally have the tripod wait there i'm thinking in the kitchen from when my dad cooked today Oh, by the way, you guys are always asking me about lighting. I literally have that light right there. Plus, I have my ring light and then I have the phone clip-on light that I usually clip. So, it's actually charging right now because I've been using it to film the hair video plus the makeup video. So, I'm going to need to get up back little juice until it's time to make the TikToks. So, in the meantime, I'm just going to scroll through my TikTok and see what I want to make but yeah i was just updating you guys and me uh, yeah but I feel cute i'm not like i'm walking upon a date like but look so good at upper inside but you know it's it's okay 
because right after this i'm gonna wipe my makeup off and go in my bed and watch gossip girl because i've been re-watching gossip girl and i'm just having a blast i love the color pink can y'all tell like i love the color pink how did he know pink was my favorite color how did he know how did he know <laughs> I love pink real bad. I'm sorry. Like, I'm just... Pink is that girl. How did he know? How you know my favorite color was pink? Was it that obvious? Hey guys, how you doing? <laughs> it's the fact that I'm taller than my fringe. This is a new one, by the way. But I live alone and it gets the job done. And the other one was just not it like the scent was killing me because from that whole disaster y'all remember when i came back from jamaica when i came back from florida and in here they smell like somebody dead in here child the scent would not go away no amount of bleach no amount of baking soda it just wouldn't leave so i had to get a new one but it, it gets the job done i mean it's 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 okay right it's whole everything we need for all i'm not short on space and that's all that matters anyways i just got home from church and it was so amazing amazing this is my first time going in jamaica since i've been a child this is like my first time going as an adult in jamaica i went a few times in florida but i told myself this year we are building our relationship with god we are not being lukewarm we're not living inside and outside of god we're committing so therefore you need to find a house of the lord we're no longer saying oh no i pray at home oh no i worship at home so i don't need to find a church we're no longer doing that so I found myself out to church home and I love it. I love it 10 out of 10. I won't be naming it for safety purposes because you have a lot of crazy people on the internet that will bumba my belly and growl. My food is on the stove. You have a lot of crazy people on the internet that will stalk you. And uh, I'm sorry. If you're somebody that I know and you message me and ask me, I'll definitely let you know. But I just won't be naming I feel like when you go somewhere religiously, you know, put them something that out on the media. You feel me? Anyways, enough of that. But yeah, so welcoming, great environment. Like, it's so advanced. The whole time I'm there, I'm just like, wow. 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 You know what I'm saying? Like, I just love it. But yeah, I went all by myself. If you know me. You know I don't like going public places alone. Like I always have a look of friend going somewhere with me. Like even if we got even if we go to supermarkets, I'm gonna like go alone. But the fact that I took myself up and I went to church all by myself, sat by myself and worshipped by myself, I am so proud of me, you know. It's giving big girl, it's giving growing up, and I just I love that. I really love that. And I'll be going every Sunday as of now, unless something comes up then you know but once i can go once i'm able and well i'll be going and they also have an online service so i guess on days where i can't go in person i'll be tuning in online i'm a little dry mm. but yeah guys it was great 10 out of 10 would recommend to a friend i don't know i just and let me say this because this is the last clip before i end out the vlog having a relationship with god is the best thing that you can ever do for yourself and take it from me i am fairly new with my walk with god so believe me when i say you know i used to always hear older people saying go to church whatever do this talk to god and i used to always find it cliche because i would just be like i'm praying and god is not answering my prayers but it's not that he's not answering you it's really that he's protecting you or it's just not your time you know and when you have that bond with god you feel like you can take on anything in this life god has been proving to me over and over that he will do the impossible and 
I'm just so much more happy or so much more at peace, especially during this stage of my life where I feel like God has completely isolated me from so many things, you know, things that I used to find joy in, doing this, doing that. A lot of people God has isolated me from. And usually I'd be so sad, I'd be distraught, you know, because not having people around you, it's kind of, it's kind of tough. But I was listening to a sermon yesterday because I was just feeling very low in terms of like my spirit and stuff. And the title of it was the you that you did not see coming. And it's so crazy because like when I went on, I was just like this sound like me the you that you did not see coming because honestly the me that i am right now i did not see coming i did not know that i would be so big on god be an advocate for god be a voice for him have him use me in this way i did not see it coming but honestly i'm so glad that i answered my calling <laughs> i'm happy like i'm so happy basically the sermon was saying that you really just have to give up your old identity to welcome the new identity that's coming. And that's something that I've been struggling with and it was literally speaking to me. It was basically saying that you have to leave your old ways behind. And it was basically saying that you hold on to that old part of you so you can be relatable to the people that were, that are a part of your life. But anybody that's supposed to be in your life will be there even if you and them fall off and then reconnect later on in life anybody that's supposed to be in your life will be there so don't be scared to be a whole different person and change because oh i'm gonna lose this person oh i won't be able to relate to this person anymore that's okay the only person that you need is god and we don't realize how much we idolize people and put people above god like I'm holding on to all parts of myself because I want to be relatable. I still want to look cool. I still want to uphold a certain image. But that was never my image. The world turned me into that person. God, I'm telling y'all what the sermon said. This is me repeating it. When God created everybody, he had a specific image for everybody. Like God created us in his own image. And basically the world changed us. So me turning into this new person this is the image that god created for me you know like this is me this is this is always me this is always inside me this is not no new whatever this is always who i am you get what i'm saying but you know we grew up in a world of sin and hate and a lot of things change us trauma childhood a lot of things that we've been through hurt it all made us into the person that we are and i don't know i just feel i feel so different you know i have no hate in my heart i just want to be pure i want to be kind i want to spread love more i want to love on people more i want to reconnect with my roots be close to family and just focus on what's more important I don't know, I just have a whole different outlook on life and every time I think about it, it's so crazy. But I'm happy that I'm here because not a lot of people get to experience being chosen. And it's a crazy thing to say, but God created us all, but not everybody is chosen. Not everybody can be a voice for God and not everybody can be an advocate for God. And sometimes i feel like i'm not deserving sometimes i feel like why would he pick me you know like i am i'm not that righteous i'm not that great i have my fair share of being a bad person you know i have my fair share of being a sinner why would he pick me and that's just something that i'm gonna have to figure out on my own but somebody told me that despite everything that i've been through god always saw the light he knows your heart and i'm like okay that makes sense you know child i don't know but i just know that i'm very favored very anointed and the pastor today in church said that expect a lot of people to hate you soon especially during this season of your life when people realize that you're 
favored and you're anointed by God, you're gonna gain a lot of haters. But it's just your mission to show everybody love. Don't make that change you, don't make that discourage you. Just keep going, keep pushing. And that's what I'm about to do. But yeah, this is the end of the vlog. I'm gonna go and eat because I'm starving. I ate at like nine o'clock this morning before I went and it's like three o'clock now, child. I'm hungry. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you did like it, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I feel like every time I go to church or every time I listen to a sermon, I'm gonna talk about it and just share it. Because I've been having so many people coming in my DMs just saying, girl, you inspire me. Like you don't even know how much you're inspiring me to just like take my walk with God serious because you don't have a lot of young people talking about this stuff, you know? And I'm just glad that I can be a voice, really. I'm happy that I can do that because I wish I had somebody like that for me, but I will be that for y'all, you know? But yeah, I'm sorry that I keep looking outside. I don't know what's wrong with me. But yeah, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in next week's video.